Buckle up, people. All right, let's roll. Hell. Ready? Open fire. Copy. Weapons free. Weapons free. Got some questions for you, asshole. I'll talk, I'll talk! Got a 20 on a fully laden cartel chopper. Let's see about getting it into the rebels' hands. Perhaps in the story, the blank spaces where nothing's been drawn. Everybody is blaming, or crediting, depending who you ask, is blaming this bombing on the Santa Blanca cartel. Bueno, no one within the cartel has claimed responsibility, and when you bomb somebody, you want people to know you did it, right? It's como, if you didn't kill a motherfucker, you at least want to scare a motherfucker. Now, in public, the cartel has not denied responsibility, but I know for a fact that all the controllers in the cartel know that this bombing was not done by Santa Blanca. So who bombed the embassy? Like I said, there are more details coming to light. Find to DJ Perico if you know the truth behind this conspiracy. Emitiendo desde el más allá para que se entere quiénes son los más acá. Ajua, putos. Esto es. Out of the car now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You have paid your dues. Suffered the same hardships. Accomplish the same successes as your male co-workers. But because you are a woman, you will always be seen as the trapadora who fucked her way up the ranks of the cartel. A madre want. And I tell those yes. And I'm telling you, do the same damn thing. It's the only way a woman can win in our world. And if you live a life... And these friends, these promises of equality and transparency, or free education, Free health care, American deals that can only be achieved. We got tangos, danger close. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. I'm I'm spotted one with submachine guns. Got another tango. Ready to fire. Yes. 
looks good. Come on. Airborne. Got another tango. Roger, let me get in position. Ready to engage. That tango's down. I'm spotting another tango. Roger that. Move it. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Pere total saldra bien. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Uh -huh. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while. A senior rebel leader named Amaru has been- well, There's a good chance he's already dead. A senior rebel leader named Amaru has been captured by the cartel. Interrogate a Santa Blanca lieutenant for Amaru's location, then go and extract him. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru.
remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Got it. Moving. Say the word. There. Copy. Go. We'll go. We'll go. Tango down. I'm moving to position. Good to go. I see a second target. Drop it. I got one narco by the helo. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Entiendan, carajo. Agarraron a la persona que no debían. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestias. ¿Qué pensará mi familia? Se acordará de mí. ¿Creerán que he muerto? Daría algo que fuera por hablar con ellos. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. I'll pilot. Good to go. Fire. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Ready? Fire, fire, fire! Copy.
think La Plaga Psyop has made that many locals go over to the cartels? I doubt it. Probably makes a lot of them turn a blind eye to Santa Blanca. But I don't think it's recruited many Bolivians who weren't forced into joining. Still, turning a blind eye ain't the same thing as joining the rebels. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. That's the run done on... La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out.
Somebody's having a good time. Yo, we got hostiles. I got a narco over here. Right by that stack of tires. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Target carrying submachine guns. Spotted one with submachine guns. Hey, we got a narco. Hanging close to the helo. This document mentions a new Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are. These sitting in the Nunidad firebase. Found a location for a cartel network station. Let's deactivate it. Sure are a lot of light. Damn, this shit's gotta stop.
target carrying submachine guns. Roger, let me get in position. Wait. Spotting another tango. Say the word, boss. Roger that. Move it. Cartel metal over here. It's gonna break some poor thugs' heart to lose this. You think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal? All right, good to go. sporting a submachine gun. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it. So our tech. We've learned that an Unidad captain named Fuentes has been working with Yuri and Polito. Interrogate. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. This is accommodation. 
Looks like it came from a box of cereal, or the Air Force or something. Hang on, I'll drive. Okay, this is the Unidad Firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Well. Sniper, top of the tower. Let's go. We go. Got it. Eyes on the Unidad captain. What the hell is this? How's it going, fuckstick? Pende. <clears throat> Mierda. You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. <clears throat> Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. Vale.
fire. Roger. Stay there. Akatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we... We're spread out too far. On the move. We wage Let's go. Among us as we face our own trials. Keep your faith. On the far side of this conflict, you too. Tango on the balcony. Got another tango. There's a care package that came in by airdrop, and here's the location. We should check it out. Easy. Come here. Que chingados! You smell that way? That mix of gun smoke, shit, and blood that's hanging in the air? That's Santa Muerte creeping up on you. Your cartel made a deal with her, but now she's come to collect. Tell your amigos. You fight for Santa Blanca, you end up food for crows. Gire si se calma, yo le juro. I will quit. I will leave Bolivia. Much as I like fucking with these assholes, part of me thinks we shouldn't have let them walk away. No, man. Humiliation's worse than a bullet to a macho dude like that. The rebels are gonna love this.
decades. And our own government has Let's attempted roll. to dictate how much of it we are permitted to grow. Our best ally in the continuing struggle against the legislation and the stigma against our ancient tradition is the Santa Blanca cartel. They already employ many of you, and many of our neighbors have been aided by Esperanza Santa Blanca. The good they have done our country is undeniable. Support your local Santa Blanca affiliates. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner in bringing our traditions into the future. Fucking hell! Check this spot out for intel. <laughs> Hang on, I'll drive. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Wilco, they're trying to escape in the truck. Sound off if you spot Smito's car. Roger that. There it is. 
Eyes on Polito's car. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the narco bling. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusky times you were driving around before. I got it. I'll fly. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. Buckle up, people. Hola. All right, I'm in. Check the truck for any loot we might need. Radio gear secure. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move. Pacatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. 
Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us a Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Oh, he just took out a rebel. Guy. Maybe we should keep the guns down. Make sure we don't care. We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it, so our techs can analyze the car's GPS for intel. Target civilians. marked. Keep an eye on your background. There's a scenario over here. That stack of tires. He's up. Let's get back to work. I never could understand an Arco blink. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty towns you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. I really fun guy. We're really But that's the business, you know. One day you're having channels with a guy called The next day, you're giving him a la vida, or breaking that, one of the things I really liked about him. <laughs> Chivato, but it's the top one that forced you to be really creative, no? <laughs> bueno, minuto, we'll hear more from these cuties in a few minutes. But for now, back to some tunes. Alright, now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Fakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. 
If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. I'm riding the motorcycle. Again, the cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. Sent. 
The rebels are gonna give Santa Blanca hell after this. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hit him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. A captured rebel being held in the village of Colton might have valuable end. intel on Liuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Out. Get some. Okay, all clear. Frag out.
Oigan, gringos, help me get out of here. Keep quiet. Chinga la verga! You okay, hermano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much, and it was quiet. Out in the country, somewhere. There... There, there was a smell, like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. Hey, we got a narco in front of the church. <laughs> We've got a location on Liuri and El Polito. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't care how you do it, so long as they both end up dead. Cartel gunman, by the church. Out of the car, now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Suaves y con carácter. Tabaco fino tostado a la manera tradicional. Fumitos con filtro. La mejor compañía para quien sabe disfrutar el aroma de un buen cigarro. Fumitos con filtro. A la venta en su estante favorito. ¡Qué pex, raza! DJ Perico en la casa with a special message from Cartel Management. Though everyone's still permitted to get high on their own supply, los jefes in the upstairs offices are asking you to keep that shit in check. To be honest, we're making so much fucking glow that you would die before you could snort enough coke to impact the bottom line. But management feels that some of you are starting to look really unhealthy. Truchas cabrones. Some of you pendejos are acting really fucking paranoid too. So cutting down a little wouldn't hurt. You know what I do to keep my use of la medicina in check? I like give myself a schedule. Neta. Like between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., I don't do no coke. And between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., also no coke. Now, I can smoke all the weed I want because that never hurt nobody. But for those four hours of the day, I don't do any kind of cocaine. Oh, I might put a spoonful of coca powder in my cheek. But that's natural, like weed. So it don't count either. But other than that, I'm drug free. Agarrense los huevos, mijos. Sticking to a schedule like I do takes a lot of discipline. But it really helps control your drug use and really keeps you from getting addicted. What time is it now? Fire. Copy that.
Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. We got back, guys. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make Cariño. it right. Cariño, who were you before you met? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was afraid of Dimash, out of focus, until I could see myself. <laughs> Terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge isn't satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I feel fucking great. Did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided to get rid of some of them? It's about damn time. Well, somebody with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch sure of the general's of body. Switches up here. The generals could be measured any way they chose. An Air Force general goes first. He's a smart guy, so he says he wants to be measured from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches, so he accepts a severance of $700,000. Next up was an Army general. This guy says he wants to be measured from the tip of his right finger to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The Army General smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this Marine General's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says, You pukes are gonna measure me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Man, Marine Generals are kinky. The men doing the measuring are confused. Sir, are you sure you understand how this works? Just do it, maggot! The Marine General barks, and then he drops his trousers. Well, the two men get out the measuring tape, they steal their courage, and they get to work. So they start at the tip of his dick, but as they work their way down, they see the General's got no balls. Plot twist! One of the men says, Sir, where are your balls? Left them back in Vietnam! <laughs>
damned. The cartel just put up a wall and turned the whole village into a prison. What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. Yo, cartel gunman, near that stack of tires. Watch the 